Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side. Welcome to my channel guys. In today's video, we are going to learn Deep Learning and Neural Network Multiple Choice Question and Answer and this is part 1. And I have multiple choice question and answer from Deep Learning. I have already uploaded my channel. There upload are many data from Deep Learning. Data, data learning se. So please sab visit and check kar and start karte par. Multiple Choice Question and Answer Quiz from Deep Learning and Neural Network. In this, your first question is a perceptron is option A, a single layer feed forward neural network with, with pre processing. Option B, an auto associative neural network. Option C, a doubt layer auto associative neural network. A neural network that contains feedback. Right answer is option A. A perceptron is a single layer feed forward neural network with pre processing. Because it's not an auto associative network because it has no feedback and not a multiple layer neural networks and because the pre processing stage is not made of neurons. Okay, so here right answer is option A. A perceptron is a single layer feed forward neural networks with pre processing. Next question. An auto associative network is option A, a neural network that contains no loops. Option B, a neural network that contains no feedback. Option C, a neural network that has only one loop. Option D, a single layer feed forward neural networks with pre processing. Right answer is option B. An auto associative network is a neural network that contains feedback. Because the number of feedback paths loops does not have to be 1. Okay. Next question. A. 4 input neurons has weight 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively. The transfer function is linear with the constant 2 proportionally being equal to 2. The inputs are 4, 10, 5 and 20 respectively. The output will be option A. 238, option B 76, option C 119 and option D is 123. Okay, so here right answer is option A and how to calculate it? Okay, chaliye dekhte hai The output is found by multiplying the weights with their respective inputs and summing the results and multiplying with the transfer function. Okay, so here now, we have the transfer function. Ki value di gai hai. The transfer function is linear with the constant of proportionality, proportionality being equal to 2. Okay? So, firstly, we have multiplied firstly, humne two value the transfer function. We have multiplied it with kisse guys? respect weight multiply input. So, first weight is 1 and first input is 4. So, 1 multiply 4. Plus, sum karna hai beech mein, toh humne isko add kiya. Second weight is 2 and second input is 10. So, 2 multiply by 10, then addition sign. Then, third weight is 3 and third input is 5. So, 3 multiply by 5 plus 4 weight is 4 and 4 input is 20. So, 4 multiply 20, isko humne solve kiya and then multiply kiya. 2 says 2 is our 2 is our transfer function and now after solving it we got 238 ok so here right answer is 238 guys this is very simple numerical 1 marks mein aap se question pucha ja sakta hai bohat easily aapke exam mein so please aap isko achche se karke jaiega for your examination next question which of the following is true first statement is on average neural networks have higher computational rates than convolution computers second statement is neural networks learn by example third statement is neural networks mimic the way the human brain works okay according to this option a is all of the mentioned are true option b statement second and statement third are true option c first second and third statement are true Option D, none of the mentioned. Right answer is all of the mentioned are true. Okay, so the three are statements are true. First statement is, okay, 
because neural networks have higher computational rates than con conventional computers because a lot of the operation is done in parallel that is not the case when the neural network is simulated on a computer the idea behind neural nets is nets means networks is based on the ways the human brain works and neural networks cannot be programmed they can only learned by example this is they can and they can learn only by examples okay so up neural networks cannot be programmed okay isse bhi aapko ek multiple choice question pucha ja sakta hai neural networks can be performed or not so answer is neural networks cannot be programmed next question which of the following is true for neural networks first option is first statement is the training time depends on the size of the network second statement is neural networks can be simulated on a conventional computers third statement is artificial neurons are identical in operations to biological ones option a all of the mention option b second is true means second statement is true option c first and second are true and option d is none of the mention right answer here is option c first and second statement are true because the training time depends on the size of the networks the network of neurons is greater and therefore the number of possible states is increased neural networks can be simulated on a conventional computers but the main advantage of neural networks is parallel execution is lost okay and artificial neurons are artificial neurons are not identical in operations to the biological ones okay so only first and second statements are true and third statement is wrong next question what are the advantages of neural networks over conventional computers first statement is they have the ability to learn by example second statement is they are most fault tolerant and third statement is they are more suited for real time operations due to their high computational rates according to this option a is first and second are true option b first and third are true option c only first is true and option d is all of the mentioned right answer here is option d all of the mention are true okay so all statements are true because neural networks learn by example as you know abhi humne isi lecture mein padha hai to okay they are more fault tolerant because they are always able to respond and a small change in input do not normally cause a change in output because of their parallel architecture high computational rate are achieved okay so according to this option statement 1 and statement and statement third they all are right one okay next question which of the following is true single layer associative neural networks do not have the ability to first one is perform pattern recognition second one is find the parity of a picture and third one is determine whether two or more shapes in a picture are connected or not okay according to this option a is second and third are true option b is second is true option c is all of the mentioned option d none of the mentioned right answer here is option a second and third are true because pattern recognition is what single layer neuron networks are best at but they don't have the ability to find the parity of a picture or to determine whether two shapes are connected or not okay next question which is true for neural networks option a it has set of nodes and connections option b each node computes its weighted input option c node could be in excited state or non excited state option d all of the mentioned right answer is option d all of the mentioned because all of the mention are the characteristics of a neural network next question neuro software is option a is software used to analyze neurons option b it's powerful and easy neural network option c designed to aid experts in real world option d it's software used by neuron surgeon okay right answer here is option b it's powerful and easy neuron neural network okay neuro software it's 
ए पावरफुल एंड इजी न्यूरल नेटवर्क नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई इज द एक्स और प्रॉब्लम एक्सेप्शनली इंटरेस्टिंग to neural networks research option e because it can be expressed in a way that allows you to use a neural network option b because it's complex binary operations that cannot be solved by using neural networks option c because it cannot be solved by a single layer perceptrons option d because it's the simplest linearly inseparable problems that exist okay according to this right answer is option d why is the xor problem exceptionally interesting to neural network research because it's the simplest linearly inseparable problems that exist next question what is back propagation this is very important question in this option a is it's another name give to the curvy function in the perceptron option b it's the transmission of error back through the networks to adjust the inputs option c it's the transmission of error back through the networks to allow bits bits to be adjusted so that the new so that the network can learn and option d is none of the mentioned right answer is option c it's the transmission of error back through the networks to allow bit to adjust so that the network can learn okay because in back propagation is the transmission of error back through the networks to allow bits to be adjusted so that the network can learn okay next question why are linearly separable problems of interest of neural networks researchers option a because they are the only class of problems that only can solve successfully option b because they are the only class of problems that perceptrons can solve successfully option c because they are the only mathematical functions that are continue option d because they are the only mathematical functions you can draw right answer is option b because they are only class of problems that perceptrons can solve successfully okay in linearly separable problems of interest of neural networks research because they are the only class of problems that perceptrons can solve successfully next question which of the following is not the promise of artificial neural networks option a it can explain result option b it can survive the failure of some nodes option c it has inherent parallelism option d it can handle noise right answer is option a it can explain result so the artificial neural networks ann cannot explain results okay next question neural networks are complex blank space with many parameters option a linear functions option b non linear functions option c discrete functions and option d exponential functions right answer is option a neural networks are complex linear functions with many parameter okay next question a perceptron adds up all the bits inputs it receives and if it exceed a certain value its output a 1 otherwise it just output a 0 is true or false and option c is sometimes it can also output intermediate values as well and option d can't say okay so here right answer is option a true okay so in perceptron a perceptron adds up all the bits inputs it receives and if it exceed a certain value its outputs a 1 otherwise its just output is 0 not to be can also output intermediate values as well no only 1 or 0 is true okay next question the name for the function is question 16 is option a step function option b habesite function option c logistic function and option d perceptron function question number 16 dekh lete hain pehle kyunki question number 16 se hi question number 17 aaya hai so here humne kya kaun sa function use kiya hai is perceptron mein wo pucha ja raha hai a perceptron adds up all the bits input it receives and if it exceed a certain value its output a 1 otherwise its just output a 0 okay so यहाँ पर हमने जो फंक्शन यूज किया है उसका नाम पूछा गया है अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस ऑप्शन ए इज मैं आपको बता चुकी हूँ स्टेप फंक्शन 
ऑप्शन बी हैबिसाइड फंक्शन ऑप्शन सी लॉगिस्टिक फंक्शन एंड ऑप्शन डी परसेप्ट्रॉन फंक्शन सो हियर वी आर यूजिंग हैबिसाइड फंक्शन बिकॉज इट्स आल्सो नोन एज स्टेप फंक्शन सो ऑप्शन ए इज आल्सो राइट इट्स हार्ड फेशियल फंक्शन आइदर ऑन और ऑफ विद नो इन बिटवीन ओके सो हैबिसाइड फंक्शन एंड स्टेप फंक्शन इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस it's heart hair shielding function and either on or off with no in between next question having multiple perceptrons can actually solve the xor problem satisfactorily this is because each perceptrons can partition of a linear part of the space itself and they can then combine their results option a true this works always and these multiple perceptrons learn to classify even complex problems option b false perceptrons are mathematically incapable of solving in linearly inseparable functions no matter what you do option c true perceptrons can do this but are unable to learn to do it they have to be explicitly hand coded option d false just having a single perceptron is enough here right answer is option c true perceptrons can do this but are unable to learn to do it they have to do explicitly hand coded okay the next question the networks that involves backward links from output to the input and hidden layer is called as option a self organizing maps option b perceptrons option c recurrent neural network option d multi layered perceptron right answer is option c recurrent neural networks the networks that involves backward links from output to the input and hidden layer is called recurrent neural networks okay because rnn recurrent neural networks topology involves back backward links from output to the input and hidden layers okay next question which of the following is an application of neural networks option a sales forecasting option b data validation option c risk management option d all of the mentioned right answer is option d all of the mentioned okay so sales forecasting is the application of neural networks as well as data validation is also application of neural network and risk management is also the application of neural network so right answer is option d all of the mentioned okay guys now let's wind up this lecture see you in the part 2 thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos and please share this video with your friends thanks for watching wish you a very very all the best for your examination